Jerry was always a really constructive force in the game, a really a constructive force in every way. He, you just, you, number one, he was extremely likable, smart, understood what he was doing. Um, I have enormous respect. And, and I don't think uh, it had anybody work as tireless uh, to try to really bring a club to a certain city like he like he did. He, did, he did a lot for me outside the game of baseball, uh, and uh, and that's what I remember the most, uh, the, the, those times together. You got the feeling that the people really appreciated finally getting a franchise. Oh, there was no question about it, and, I, and I'd have people talk to me uh, coming in and out of the ballpark or during a game saying, thank you, we love this, uh, We how much we enjoy coming, I like bringing my family. I, one woman told me one day, she said, I had the best conversation with my daughter that I've had in five years. And I said, how old's your daughter? And she said, 18. And I said, well, my experience is it does nothing but get better now. So, well, <laughs> it's, uh, but it was, all that made you feel good and made me proud that uh, I was able to be involved and have the role that I had in the community that my whole business life had been headquartered here. and, and uh, met my wife in Colorado and children were all born here. Not often you get a chance like that. Jerry began his business career by buying a small trucking company as a 19-year-old University of Colorado student and over the next 40 years grew that business, Nations Way Transport Service, to be the largest privately owned trucking company in the country. Jerry agreed to be a limited partner of the newly formed Colorado Rockies who were bidding to be awarded a major league franchise, which was granted July 5th, 1991. When the then general partners encountered financial difficulty before the inaugural 93 season, Jerry stepped forward along with Charlie Montfort and Oren Brenton to become the general partners. Jerry became the chairman, president, and CEO and led the Rockies to every major MLB attendance record in that inaugural season. He also directed the Rockies' efforts in building the finest ballpark in Major League Baseball, Coors Field. Jerry instilled in the Rockies the culture of treating fans with the courtesy and respect that continues to this day. He was also instrumental in helping solve the 1994-95 MLB players' strike, as well as serving on the MLB Owners' Executive Council and Finance Committee for many years. It is with great sorrow that the Rockies marked the passing of this tremendous leader, colleague, and friend, Jerry McMorris, to whom this team owes so much. Jerry is survived by his wife, Mary, two children, Kelly and Scott, their respective spouses, and six grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of this great ambassador to the game of baseball and one to whom all Rockies fans owe a deep debt of gratitude for being instrumental in bringing Major League Baseball to Colorado, we ask that you please remove your caps and bow your heads as we remember Jerry McMorris with a moment of silence.